Hi everyone, welcome back to the Makeup Revolution channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how to contour and highlight using both cream and powder. I nearly forgot the word for a sec. Cream and powder products. So I hope you enjoy. So as you can see, I've already done my eyebrows, the top half of my eyes and my foundation. But I'm now just going to show you how to do kind of cream contouring, powder contouring and highlighting and just kind of how I finish off my base. So, so I'm going to start off by using the Pro HD Camouflage Conceal palette and it comes in this really nice kind of matte nude packaging um, and there's three different shades of this the one that I'm going to be using is the light one this is what the box looks like it is so beautiful I'm obsessed with the packaging they also make this in light medium and medium dark and then the medium dark one looks like this and then this one is light medium so there we go. So I'm just going to start out by using the Perlis shade in this palette um, and I'm using one of the brushes from the Champagne collection. This one is really good for cream products, especially cream contour. Um, so I'm just taking that palest shade and I'm just going to apply some of this below my eyes just to brighten them up a bit. And then I'm just taking my finger to bounce that into my skin. You could use a kind of beauty sponge or whatever you prefer. I normally just apply these with my fingers, I'm not really sure why, but I felt like using a brush today. Okay, so there you go, you can see that this eye is a lot more bright than the other eye. On the other side, I'm just going to show you how you can actually just apply it with your finger. Because that's what I normally do. I just kind of pat it on like this. And then taking some of this colour here, which although it looks quite dark in the pan, it's actually pretty much the exact same colour as my skin tone. I'm just taking some of this on my finger and I'm just going to go over any blemishes just to conceal them. And then I'm just taking a little bit and kind of like blending it into the lighter concealer because I feel like at the moment it's a little bit too bright for my liking so I don't think there's any chance of me ever concealing this spot because it is so big. <laughs> and I'm also just going to put some of this around the sides of my nose and down the centre as well because my nose gets quite a lot of redness. So for cream contour I'm using the Ultra Contour Stick in the shade Fair. They do do these in other shades as well but obviously I need the fair one. So it's got a um, kind of brightening shade on one side which you can actually use on your eyes. I could have done that but I chose to use the concealer palette and then on the other side it's just like a contour so I'm just going to suck in my cheekbones. And draw a line. Actually, I think I'll do one side at a time. And then I'm just blending that out with the champagne brush. And I'm blending it more upwards instead of downwards. Okay, so as you can see, that's given me a nice definition of my cheekbones. I don't normally get on with cream contour products because I find that they are too dark and too orange for my skin. But I feel like this one blends out into a nice kind of like ashy shade. Like, well, it's not too ashy, but it's also not too warm. Like, it's not like a bright orange line. Um, I'm just going to take the kind of paler side on this and just run that underneath. I'm also going to take a little bit of this around my hairline. I feel like cream contouring is a really nice alternative if you don't want to have a super harsh contour because once you've powdered your face and everything, it kind of just looks a lot more natural than powder contouring does, well I think so anyway. Um, so that is what the cream contour is looking like. So I've just powdered my face and as you can see I've still got like a slight bit of definition to my cheeks. So if you want to go natural then you can just absolutely just leave that there. But I am going to do a little bit more with my powder contouring. So I'm just taking the Ultra Contour Palette which just looks like this and I'm going to be taking this colour here which is the palest out of all of the contour shades um, and I'm just going to take this on an angled brush and just apply a little bit of that over the top of where I just did the cream contour. Okay so there we go that is my powder contouring done. I literally just put it in the kind of hollows of my cheekbones and around my temples just to give the appearance of a slightly kind of like more defined face. I'm quickly just going to finish off my eyes and then I will be right back. So I've just added a bit of lipstick and this is in the shade Vow. And then I'm finally going to add some highlight and I'm using the Golden Lights Baked Vivid Highlighter. And I'm just adding this to the highest points on my face. So my cheekbones, a little bit on my nose. 
And that is my contour and highlighting routine complete. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I hope you have found it helpful. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I would love it if you let me know down below in the comments if you have any video suggestions for what you want to see on this channel. Also make sure you're subscribed if you want to keep up with the videos that we're posting each week. There's three videos going up each week on this Makeup Revolution channel, so make sure you're subscribed so that you get the updates. So I hope you guys have a great Easter and I will see you in the next video. Bye.